Well, this is going to be my review of The Thing by John Carpenter, which is one of the films we watched this week for Movie Club. If you're watching this, you either need to have watched the movie or accept that I'm going to spoil it. Sorry. There is a group of scientists, and they are stationed in the Antarctic, and they're working at the station. The station is pretty cool. It's got all their sciencey stuff, but it's also got like a ping pong table and a TV with a VCR so they can watch reruns of things that actually happen in the real world because they are kind of disconnected. They even focus for a moment on the radio guy who says that he keeps trying to reach out to people and he's just not getting in contact with anyone. So these guys are doing their thing. They're hanging out while they're not working. They're working all sciencey when they are working. The film starts. There was a Norwegian guy in a helicopter who flies over their camp shooting at a sled dog who belongs to these American scientists. Uh, yeah. That's where the shit all starts to go down. Basically, they shoot the guy, and then they bring their sled dog in, and they put him in his cage. The moment they put him in the cage and walk away, the dog turns, like, inside out, and all these tentacles come out, and clearly something that's not actually a dog has, like come out of this fake dog, not dog thing that it had turned into. Guys, I am so grossed out by this movie. The people realize that this not dog has killed the rest of the dogs and they torch him and then they look at him and then they realize it's something not good. They go to the Norwegian camp and realize that those guys found an alien thing and the alien thing is imitating people and animals and basically consuming them and then pretending to be them. This is so gross. Even though it's 1982 and CG isn't a thing yet and all the special effects are a little bit campier and old school, it's so gross. I can't even tell you if I enjoyed it as a film or not because every time things got gory, I had to look away and stop watching. I am not offended by gore and scary stuff. I just usually don't participate in it because I will have nightmares. I will not be watching it again. I did not enjoy it. I felt like this is basically torture because it grossed me out so much. If you enjoy special effects that are old school and are very well done, then you'll enjoy this film. If you like horror that's from the 80s, then you'll probably enjoy this film. If you are a Kurt Russell fangirl, then you'll probably enjoy this film. I can see the perspective that this film is awesome. That's not hard for me to understand. I personally did not enjoy it because of it being scary. The one guy dies and then they're trying to use paddles on him and his whole chest opens up and then the alien thing comes up out of it and kills this other guy and then the alien is just living in this head of this guy and like pulls tentacles out of the mouth and like scoots away. I mean that's gross. And then this other guy, they find out he's the alien and his face like splits in two and the whole head like grabs the head of another guy and like consumes him. And the only way to kill this thing is to like burn it. Um, there's just all this burning. It just burn this and burn that and they keep burning it and I don't think that they ever actually kill the alien. Kurt Russell and the one other guy are the only people left and they burn their entire station and they're hoping that the fire has taken out the alien but they've also kind of come to the conclusion that they're not going to live through it and they start having this conversation and Kurt Russell's kind of smiling and they're like what should we do now and Kurt Russell's like well I guess maybe we should wait here for a while and he has this look on his face like either he's the alien or he's waiting for the other guy to turn into the alien you get no conclusion there's no yes the alien's dead there's no there's no nothing. I feel like this movie could have a million sequels because the alien replicates whatever it consumes. I find that very unsettling. <laughs> John Carpenter did an excellent job. This film accomplishes what it looks like it's setting out to do. It is a true horror film in the sense that it inspired horror inside me. I am horrified, grossed out, and glad that I watched it during the day. Well, I guess that's all I've got. I hope you're having an excellent day. I will see you later. You just watch Stephanie talk. Don't forget to tell her what you thought. Share and like, maybe subscribe. Stephanie will see you all next time.